Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video and happy new year guys Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me over the last year I really do appreciate it more than you know and I am right now officially filming my first video for 2022 so hopefully you guys stick around with me that way you can see all the amazing stuff that we have coming up for today's video We have another haul unboxing if you didn't see my last haul I'll go ahead and link it in the description as well as the i cards above and in that haul I had mentioned that I was actually waiting on an order that I placed before the stuff in the last haul actually arrived and as soon as I finished filming that one this came in the mail the very next day so I figured since this is the order that I was looking for to the most that I would film it as soon as I had a chance so if you want to see what's in these two very big boxes that I have, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the smaller of the two boxes because in this one there really are only two things and then like I said, I'll show you the huge box that we have to unbox. This box is actually from a company called Row Life. They do specialize in miniature buildings you can put together and vinyl figures. In the last haul, I did show that I got three full sets from the company, but that order I had actually placed after this one. So this is the one that I started off with. At the time I placed this order, it was during their 11-11 sale. And I believe that these were like 25% off. Plus I had a bunch of coupons and stuff for that day and free shipping and all that good stuff. And of course I'll leave all the pricing information on the screen and where I got them. And then in the description below, I'll leave all the links to anything that's still available. So we will go ahead and take a look at the box first because it actually is very cute. Other than it just being like a brown box, on both sides it does have a pattern. And this is what it looks like. I wish that the box wasn't so beat up because that's actually so cute. On there, there's just a pattern of little buildings, weather elements, hearts, trees, music, stuff like that. And then there is our very cute little figure, Nancy, who is one of their more prominent vinyl figures that they make. So let's go ahead and get this box opened up. All right guys, so I have it opened up. I'm just gonna move the box off screen and then I'll just show you everything that's in it. But like I said, there's only two things, so this part should go pretty quick. The first thing that I picked up is this full case of these Nancy vinyl figures, and I believe this is series two. And I believe this is like the forest spirit ones. This again is a full complete sealed case. There are 12 designs that you could get with the chance of getting the mystery figure. And this one is one that I wanted for so long. I really, really wanted to get my hands on the first series ever and I am still saving money to get that because it has not been on sale at all and is still being sold for $250. So I went ahead and got this one because this one was a really good price and I did start to notice that the older the series starts to become the less places you'll find it available. So I'm trying to collect as many of the older series as I can before getting anything new. But since the only older series that was on sale was the second one, I wasn't able to get my hands on the first or third, but the fourth series was on sale as well. And this was one that I have been obsessing over. So I knew I had to get it. This is the full case of the Nancy Tea Time set. Again, same thing. It is a case of 12, it is fully sealed, and you do get the chance to get a hidden edition. So I am so excited about this. These are honestly the two series that I wanted the most from the Nancy figures all together. So I'm super excited, but like I said, now the hunt is on for series one and series three. So hopefully they will be having a new year sale soon and maybe I can get my hands on that. But that is everything for the first package. So now let me move on to the second one. All right guys, so here is the second one this package is ridiculously huge. I don't even know how to describe it. We are so far away from the desk and I'm having to hold the camera without the tripod because the tripod just doesn't allow it to fit. So it is extremely giant. It is a very, very huge package. And this one is from, as you can see, Pop Mart. This box is very simple. On both sides, it has this Molly figure printing on it. And then the sides are pretty plain from what I can see. But this was the very first 
vinyl figure purchase that I've ever made. And this one was also purchased during their 11-11 sale. There were quite a few promotions going on at the time and I'll throw them up on the screen. If you ordered a certain amount of stuff, you were also receiving free gifts. And of course, like I said, I'll throw those screenshots on the screen. You had a chance if you bought like 69 stuff, you got a certain thing over 150, over 250, and then so on and so forth. So this box is packed with a lot of things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, move the box off to the side, and then we'll take a look at each thing. There is so much stuff in this box. I am so freaking excited. So I'm just gonna start pulling out at random and then we will go from there. So the box was full of wrapping, paper, bubble wrap, things, stuff like that. And the first thing that I have on the top are just these loose boxes. And we do have a story about these. So these are the Seder Rory Adventures in Wonderland Alice series Pop Mart and Sulgi collaboration. And this is what started my obsession with Pop Mart figures. I saw these figures probably three years ago at this point, and I have been obsessed ever since. But like I said in the very first video, I never had a job that I could spend that kind of money on these. And now that I have a better paying job, I was able to save more per check in order to make this purchase. Right before the 11-11 sale that they had, I had put everything in my cart that I wanted. That way when 11-11 hit exactly at my time where I am, I would just have to check out. When I did that, I was able to buy everything that I wanted and then three days later, I got a message from Pop Mart saying, oh, we're so sorry, but unfortunately, the only thing in your order that is not available is the Alice in Wonderland set. We're completely sold out. We are not sure why it let you buy it. We absolutely apologize. So then, you know, I told them that's fine. Is there any way that I can cancel the order? Because the only reason that I really ordered anything was in order to get this set. And other than that, I didn't have a real desire to buy the stuff that I did want. It was really just because of these little boxes right here. And we messaged back and forth for a while and they were so sweet. Honestly, the Pop Mart people on AliExpress were absolutely amazing. And if I didn't mention, I did buy these off the official Pop Mart store on the AliExpress website. So basically what they said is we feel really bad because you already paid, you know, you did everything, it's our fault. Would it be okay if we sent you 12 individual boxes, but unfortunately there's no guarantee that this is the full set. And I told him, would it be okay if I think about it and I'll get back to you in a day? And the person said, don't worry, take your time. We'll put 12 boxes aside for you. That way, if you choose to do it, you'll have them guaranteed. So I thought about it and I really was like, I want the full set 100%. So do I wanna take the chance that I got 12 of one of the same person? And at first I was getting ready to type the message, say, no, you know what, it's okay. And then I thought, why don't I just do it? I really want these. I'd rather have just one of all of them than none at all. So what they did was send me 12 individual boxes. And now I'm not 100% sure if I got the full set or even different ones at all, but I do have these in front of me and I'm so happy. So long story short, I have 12 individual boxes, which would be a case, but since they were open from different cases, they and I are not sure if it is 12 individual ones. A lot of them do feel the same weight, so it's impossible to tell. So out of all of them, I think I'm gonna have the most fun opening these because I don't know, guaranteed that I got them all. So that is the very first thing that I bought and that is what inspired this purchase from the Pop Mart store. And then right now, as I was gonna move everything off, I was like, I don't think that's 12 boxes. I was like, I know I'm bad at math, but I can't be that bad at math. So here's another one. And then unfortunately here is this crushed one. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I think we'll go ahead and open this one today. I'm really excited. And now we'll go ahead and move on to the free stuff that was actually inside the box. It's not much, but I honestly don't remember what you were able to get i guess the more expensive the order you placed you only got one bigger thing versus the multiple little things you could get with like a 50 dollars purchase but at the bottom of the box there were a million of these little packages that are these little pop mart demo blind bags i think it might be a very tiny figure it's like that big and if i do remember i'll put up a picture i remember these are like clear solid color little figures i do have 11 of these and then the biggest free thing that you could get 
get was a 200 times size figure and I'll throw up the picture of the possible ones that you could get I was really really hoping to get one of the bunny ones and I was specifically hoping not to get the one that I have so that is a bit unfortunate but it is this climber figure it's the Labubu who is the character from the monsters but it pretty much just looks like that and yeah it's really cute and I bet this was super expensive these probably have to be anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars so to get that as a free gift is amazing next we'll go on to this cute little package right here this is another reason that I wanted to place this order they did have multiple like boxes you could get for the holiday season one was a molly box one was a demu box one was a monsters box and then i picked up this bunny box so this was part of their bunny playfulness series which at the time the bunny playfulness series was the newest bunny release that was out and i guess this was sort of like a promotional box this is so cute it looks like a little suitcase it is a little beat up but that's fine i mean i probably wouldn't end up keeping the box but it is very adorable so we'll go ahead and open this up just because it'll be easier to show you guys like that but yeah the box is definitely definitely beat up so on the top, you just have a cute little picture up there, which is absolutely adorable. And again, just advertising the bunny playfulness. And on here, this is flat, but this is like a pop-up. So you could take this off and keep these two, which I absolutely love. And then in here, what it was, was a ceramic bowl, two little ceramic plates, and then it should come with like a fork and fruit knife, if I'm correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this stuff real quick and take it out. So essentially you are supposed to be able to keep this box as like a keepsake because it does have a magnet that closes it but like I said it's completely torn up that I wouldn't even be able to or want to keep that but we will go ahead and take a look at everything that came inside so besides the cute little like dishes that came with the set the reason I wanted to get this was because it came with three bunny playfulness blind boxes and I thought that this was a good way to kind of test out the series like everything that's in it I absolutely adore but I thought that the price I paid for this was the price of just the three of these so I thought it was absolutely amazing then like I said it did come with these little plates and I'll insert the picture to show you what they kind of used them for. Like this had fruit or sauce or something on it. So there's one of the bunny characters. And then here is another one of the plates, which is absolutely adorable. This one has a little bit of bubbling, but honestly, I wouldn't be using these for food. They were purely gotten for like a decorative aspect, but these are absolutely adorable and they are ceramic. And then the very last thing for the dishes is this bunny bowl, which is absolutely adorable. It is this like just pastel purple with bunny all over it and it's just absolutely adorable honestly like this is so freaking cute i have been waiting to get this because i've been in love and then of course it just has this bunny playfulness bunny tableware set in this cute little box and it has just three little fruit forks inside and then i'll leave the plastic on the fork because they're all the same at the bottom but i'll show you the top so this is like a little rocking horse and this seems like very good material this one is the bunny bell that she always has and lastly is this one of bunny which is so adorable so i am absolutely in love with this set at first i was like did i really need to get it like did i and the answer to myself is a hundred percent so that is everything for that set and then the very last two things that I got are actually the same character from the same sort of line I guess the first one that I got is this set of 12 of the sweet bean supermarket set series one and i really only stumbled upon this because when i was on pop mart during the sale i was just looking at everything they had available and like what characters i think i might want to get into and sweet bean honestly just popped out as one of the cutest things that i have ever seen in my life i do believe that it was brand new in 2020 so i figured i would just go ahead and pick it up if i do like it i'm gonna go ahead and get series two because those figures for the supermarket set look absolutely adorable so this again has 12 figures with the possibility of getting a hidden design and i cannot wait to open these guys this one is by far one of my favorites besides the Seder Rory. And then the very last thing that I have for the video is this 
other sweet bean set that I saw that I fell in love with. Now, the Sweet Bean Supermarket Series 2 was not on sale at the time. If it was, I would have gotten the Series 2. But then when I was looking, I fell in love with this one as well. So this is the Sweet Bean Akihabara Series. And this one is absolutely adorable, guys. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted to get it. So yes, this one is the Akihabara Series Sweet Bean. And this one came out last year. So this was new last year. And I saw that this was for a really good price and I knew I had to get my hands on it. So these two are honestly probably the ones I am most excited for. I really thought it was going to be the Seder Rory ones, but to be honest, these ones I cannot wait to open. So that is absolutely everything for the video. We will go ahead and open my smushed Alice in Wonderland box and then that should be it. All right, friends, so I do want to thank you so much for watching the video. I absolutely appreciate it. I know this content is very different from what I had been doing, but like I was saying, I have been wanting to unbox Pop Mart or vinyl figures for such a long time. I just never had the money to do it. So now that I have been able to buy several of the sets, not that I'm not going to do the kind of content I was doing before, but these are why I started my channel. I started doing blind boxes because these are the blind boxes I wanted to do, but of course I'll still be doing hauls. I'll still be doing 18 inch doll stuff, dolls, LOL, stuff like that. But these are just going to come into the channel, obviously, because I have a whole bunch of stuff to open and I'll be doing it over time. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely in the comments down below, let me know what you're excited about, what kind of content you'd like to see in the new year, because I do have a lot of changes coming in my life and I really do want to share that stuff with you guys. I just don't know if it's something you're interested. So definitely make sure to leave that in the comments below. Also, definitely don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of the new thing that I want to do. I was talking about it in the last video, but because I have all these blind boxes, I want to start doing something in the new year called full box or full case Fridays, where I just dedicate Fridays to opening anything Pop Mart. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. Again, let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in, but it's definitely something I want to do. Oh my goodness. So here we have this cute little mock turtle. And this is actually something you won't see in the Disney Alice in Wonderland. This is from the actual Alice through the Looking Glass story. So I love that they incorporated a character that you don't typically see in Alice in Wonderland or Alice through the Looking Glass type material. So that is absolutely adorable. It is tiny, like absolutely tiny. Each figure does come with a Selka packet to keep everything dry and not fade. And then it does come with a collector's card, which I love that this is in perfect condition even though the box was smashed. So here is our mock turtle card and look how tiny the figure is guys. I love it. I love the blue. I love that this is my first one. When I saw people unbox these, I didn't think I was going to like it, but it is absolutely adorable. So other than that, again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for an amazing year and I hope 2022 is as good for for me as it will be for you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.